tell us. But I did not watch the uh, uh, I did not watch the Oscars either. But oops. But the winner is a very interesting um, situation with Steve McQueen. All the Oscars were won by British, so it was something of an interesting situation in its own right. So, um, yeah, the, 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 um, I have the plan for today, because I, I do hope that we have a discussion group. There, there should be a few more people on Wednesday, so that's why I thought Wednesday we should have our discussion on your projects, and it gives you a bit more time to just look at your websites. I went through everybody's websites. Some have added some interesting material and some remain the same. Or at least you would want to have a discussion on your project, whether you have it on website or not, uh, so we can roundtable on Wednesday. A blog. Hmm. A blog. If you have a blog, yeah, a blog, not a website, yes. And I need to leave around 7.30, so uh, I mean, if we can start at 5, like now, and uh, <coughs> go to 7.30, that would be pretty good. If, if, if everybody shows up, then there won't be time for... Well, if it's this many people, it will be okay. I know that there, James should be here, I think, this coming Wednesday, and I don't know who else. And there's, we're, there's always missing people there, because people are in different parts of the world. But um, I think that uh, we can have a discussion as opposed to long presentations on our own work. Um, and I'm, the, what I'm doing today, and we can even start this discussion today if I finish quick enough. Um, I thought to give you two examples of work I've done that are uh, illustrate to some extent <coughs> an approach to a, to an urban-based project, and. Um, You'll also see a little bit of the way I think of things, which is not exactly the way that you need to think of things. So this is not a, this is not a methodology for you. This is more or less a, a project approach. And what I thought of is, is to present you my work on Chinatown. But before I do that, I did another smaller project some years earlier, which is something I've been working on for quite a while, while I was living in the United States. Um, but. In, in the late, uh, in the, I think around early 2000, uh, when I was working on Suburbia. So this is a very short project, and so I thought I'll show you two things. Uh, one is project on Suburbia, uh, which is called Cops, and that's a TV show, and I don't know if you've gotten, did you, you get that TV show here in, 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 in Sweden? Yeah. Yeah. There may even be a Swedish version, but I know that the American version has been everywhere. This one is on the television. Yeah, it's quite brutal. And racist. And racist. Yeah, it's brutal, racist, and horrible. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick presentation on that. And then I'll go to the big presentation, which is on Chinatown, which is more of an exploratory uh, thing on, on the subject. The um, Peter, mm. I'm going to read a mood if you can change the order. If you can change the order? Of oh, because you're, you've got to go? Yes. Um, if it doesn't No, mess. no. It's, yeah, all right. I, I'm fine. I'm very democratic here. So we'll do the other one first. I mean, if it's okay for yeah, yeah. Maybe I get it's going to take me too long anyway to do the Chinatown. So let me let me start with Chinatown. Just that's how things work around here. So it's like not the Ukraine, but uh... <laughs> okay. So um, the Chinatown is ev is everywhere, uh, or the non-West in the West is a, is a subject that I. 
uh, done quite a bit of work on uh, over the years, and it's accumulation of two uh, streams of research. One has to do specifically with Chinatowns, and uh, I will be showing you that result. But it comes out of a question that um, I was interested in, uh, in terms of uh, how aliens are treated in, uh, in national societies. For example, how do we understand the, the condition of the alien? Um, this picture, by the way, uh, is an interesting one because it just shows you that, you know, we're so global that your, your airport, um, uh, I don't know what you call those things now, um, your, your airplane um, passageway uh, can come right to your, the door of your office in China. Um, and so, yes, I think that that's a pretty good symbol of what I'm interested in. Uh, of course, what, what I'm going to be talking about is this mix. And like you see, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I mean, it, it's, it's very difficult to, to argue that there is um, only a singular identity, cultural identity, in, in an Asian country versus in a Western country, and that's really this West, not Western in, in the West aspect. The mixing of cultures. To get to this, I want to first examine this idea of um, how do we understand an alien in um, a, a contemporary, let's say, in our Western culture, or specifically to this study in the United States. Um, so what I decided to do was uh, an examination of uh, television and uh, film. I was trying to see how many, how many references to aliens come up. And alien immigrants, not alien aliens. And there's very few. There's almost no TV shows or uh, you know, basic popular TV shows or even films for that matter that really take on a close inspection on what it's like to be treated like an alien, and especially when you think about how much Hollywood loves uh, these drug movies and all of these uh, extremely hard, violent films that they like to produce, even there, there's not really a compassionate understanding of the, uh, the condition of being an alien in, the, in, 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 for example, US society. And so I began to examine um, TV shows and film. And um, uh, what I realized is that there were actually a lot of aliens in um, TV shows and film if you take the, um, if you take the condition of the, the moon alien or the Mars alien or the, or the extraterrestrial alien. And what I began to, to notice was that um, this extraterrestrial condition was in many ways metaphors for the alien condition of an immigrant. And that you could actually substitute many of the um, uh, subjects and issues and, and controversies with uh, real life cases. And so I, I just developed here very sh quickly a uh, short um, uh, a sequence of possibilities. So here, um, in Space 1999, I have the example of the Guardian of Piri. Now, uh, this was a, 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 an English, British TV show, a science fiction TV show, produced in the 1970s, actually by uh, the same guys who produced the puppet animated shows in the 60s, uh, like Thunderball, and uh, all those, uh, what was called puppet uh, animation, or marionation, uh, where they were in gadgets, saving the planet, and doing everything else. And then in these later years, they actually produced a human uh, uh, TV show called Space 1999, in which the moon is broken free of the Earth orbit by some colossal nuclear accident, and the moon becomes a kind of rocket ship. And in this show, every episode, the moon 
finds other planets. And of course, everybody living on the moon at this point in 1999, oops, everyone living on the moon in 1999 uh, in the space stations, of course, that would be just about now or 10 years ago, uh, would, would, uh, were desperate to find another planet to live on. There's something they could actually live on. And so in, in the Guardian of Piri, uh, they, uh, they discovered this special planet where uh, the, the planet has been controlled by a computer, and the computer uh, has destroyed its own population, and therefore very much interested in a new population of people. And so uh, some of the graphics, uh, as they approach the planet, this is their space exploring uh, uh, rockets, and they, they see the planet, and um, they are enticed to land on the planet, and it's a very nice planet indeed. They're all very happy when they get there, and the, the cause, of course, of the extinction of the people of this planet was pure apathy. They were so happy and enjoying themselves there that they became completely numb and in, unable to do anything. So in, in a sense, this is the typology of the um, uh, alien planet, which is an alien being, or the computer being planet. And this is a typology you see, for example, in, in Tarkovsky's Solaris and in other films of that genre where the entire planet is a living entity and uh, one has to deal with that form of alienation. Then there's this TV show, um, which only lasted, I think, four uh, episodes, which is based on Ray Bradbury's famous The Martian Chronicles. This was produced in, um, I think, also 1980, and starred Rock Hudson. Now, in, in Martian Chronicles, uh, you have humans living in Mars, and uh, they are exploring the archaeology of the dead, ancient Martian race. And what's interesting about this, I don't know if you guys know um, Rock Hudson. Uh, Rock Hudson was a very good friend of Ronald Reagan, and um, when he suddenly died of AIDS, uh, it really made Ronald Reagan, who was anti-gay, anti-AIDS, everything, to rethink his position because this was one of his favorite friends. Uh, and he didn't know he was gay. So um, in this uh, film, however, uh, Rock Hudson, uh, it's very kitschy, very postmodern sets. And um, Rock Hudson, uh, with his family, uh, is exploring the archaeology of the ancient Martian, uh, ancient Martian archaeological ruins, and um, there's a close-up, and he, um, he, uh, uh, he becomes the Martian. That's really what happens. In Martian Chronicles, uh, Rock Hudson, he, he, he sees the Martian, but what he really is seeing is himself becoming a Martian. At least that's in the story. So in a sense, that's another form of uh, uh, typology of, of, uh, of possibilities that you become the alien or you become you you absorb or become uh, absorbed into the alien but then there was this other TV show uh, this was in 1989 starring John James Kahn which was called alien nation and um, in this was a very strange show because it really seemed like it was modeled on uh, Korean Americans in Los Angeles. Uh, an alien nation lands um, in, um, in, on the Earth, and uh, 